My name is Francesca Beard. I'm a spoken word artist. I sometimes work with music, I sometimes work with film, but I always work with audiences. That's, that's my thing. I'm working on a project called London Tales. It's a working title. I'm working with B3 Media and Mark Booth. And it's a very participatory, interactive, improvised uh, storytelling project. And it, there's kind of live theatrical events that we're going to set up. And there's also a whole online platform which should be a showcase for emerging writers. So instead of spinning the globe and scratching her dome, wondering if she had a better chance of throwing a dart on a map, she said, Canada, how about that? I started out uh, as a more traditional poet and then I started going to open mic nights and, and reading my stuff out in front of um, you know, people, live audiences, and it was revelatory to me, the feeling of connection. When the idea for London Tales started, it was inspired by Chaucer's Canterbury Tales and it was just going to be me writing the tales, and then as I thought about it I realised that actually I, I wanted other people to write their tales and that would just make it so much richer and more dimensional. I'm going to point to you and I would like you to give me a sentence and it's going to be the story of how they met and fell in love. It was a sunny day in a remote part of northern France. I forget which one said to the other, kiss me. <laughs> and I couldn't believe my luck. <laughs> the prince knelt down on one knee and said, you must marry me. If you don't, I'll kill myself. We are running a whole load of workshops because um, even if you're a writer who's really experienced, it, it's much more fun and you get a lot of energy from working with other writers. And if you're just starting out and you really want to be a writer but you don't really know how, then it's amazing to get in a room with people who've been doing it before and really want to share that knowledge with you. There's also the point at which, um, what drag queen would you be, begins? This one? This was DD Cups. <laughs> And even if you don't write your story and you don't turn yourself into a fictional character, you can go online and choose the stories that you feel are the coolest or the best or the most represent your London, and then you can curate your own London tales. <laughs> We're going into communities who might have amazing stories to tell, either from their own lives or from the in their past, like stories about their grandparents or their great-grandparents, and we are saying to them, we want to hear your stories. How do you want to tell them? Do you want to tell them in a poem? Do you want to tell them in a film? Do you want to tell them by recording your voice onto this piece of technology? And if they say, well, we don't really know how to use a camera, or we don't know how to use this technology, we'll run workshops where we bring in the equipment and we teach people to use them. The thing I love about working with audiences is playing with identity. I, I, I'm very interested in identity in my own work and in turning myself into a fictional character. And he's got a very big head, so he's slightly unstable. And the best thing about him is his voice, which is very deep with a lisp. I find that people really respond to be, being given a, a, a space and, and a platform to do that for themselves. And what's apparent to us now is that actually it not only works in, in London or in a very particular location, it also works nationally and in fact internationally. And that is, is really exciting. How we work out the, the, the rules of engagement, how this game works, w which will allow a really diverse and um, quite widespread community to engage on a kind of equal platform. Yeah, and that's what we need to do next.